What's up, YouTube? This is AD2 and O. It saddens me to break the news to anyone watching this that hasn't heard. Unfortunately, Willis Reed has passed away uh, at the age of 80. He was born June 25th, 1942. Obviously died March 21st, 2023. Uh, this one hurts. You know, I just... We were blessed as basketball fans, especially NBA fans, because for a long time, we had our stars. Uh, it wasn't like hockey, it wasn't like baseball, it wasn't like football, where a bunch of our past players had passed on. We had been blessed, especially at the NBA 50th greatest anniversary, only one of them was passed away at that time. Now... Just more and more passing away. And <laughs> this one hurts. Uh, just a few other NBA top 75s who are gone. Paul Arizon, who was 78 when he died. Elgin Baylor, who was 86. Kobe Bryant, who was 41. Wilt Chamberlain was 63. Dave DeBusher was 62. Hal Greer was 81. John Havlicek was 79. Sam Jones was 88. Moses Malone was 60. Pete Maravich was 40. George Mikan was 80. Willis Reed, 80. Bill Russell, 88. Dolph Shays, 88. Or, I'm sorry, 87. Bill Sharman, 87. Nate Thurman, 74. And Wes Unsold, 74. It saddens me to announce this, guys. And for those of you who don't know his accolades, he's a two-time champion, two-time finals MVP, an NBA Most Valuable Player Award in 1970, seven-time All-Star, four-time All-NBA second team, uh, one-time All-NBA first team. He made the All-Defensive Team in 1970. He was the Rookie of the Year in 1965, and he is the greatest Nick of all time. No, it's not even. It's Willis Reed. And he didn't have a very long career. I mean, he only played nine seasons. Uh, I mean, his last season was at the age of 31. Technically, at the age of 32, he was on that Knicks roster, but he didn't play the entire year. So technically, 73-74 was his final season. And even his last championship in 1973, he was 30 years old. Not very old, but the injuries had him derailed to just a shell of himself, you know. But him in his prime, he, in many people's eyes, he was the greatest defensive player Post Bill Russell. Uh, when I say 1970, Willis Reed was um, the greatest defensive player since Bill Russell. I don't know if I believe that, but a lot of people say that. And like I said, he is the greatest Nick of all time. I don't think it's even close. I want to mention just how popular he was. For example, in Curtis Blow's 1984 song, Basketball, he's mentioned. Um, he's been mentioned in a few other songs. But I think what we all know Willis Reed for was the Game 7 in 1970. They didn't know if Willis Reed was going to play. Because, you know, he was hurt. He came out there, he set the tone early on, which gave the Knicks that boost, even though he was hobbling. <laughs> he came out there, and he did it. So, a lot of <laughs> criticism about these newer players being soft, I mean, a lot of it comes from stuff like this. The way the, these past players played through injury and through pain. Uh, he died of heart failure, just putting that out there. So, what are your thoughts? <clears throat> if anyone wants to leave a comment down below, 
Do you think Willis Reed is the greatest Nick of all time? Do you think it's Patrick Ewing? Let me know what your thoughts are down below. And thanks for watching.